Hey guys, Biggie here, and I don't normally start these videos off in the main menu, but I kind of had to for this video because just take a look at that. I mean, that's that's a beauty. So much going on here, but it's so good. And in just a second, the music will turn on and we'll get going with this uh, Modless Quick Look Skyrim Special Edition Wabbajack Modless Quick Look for Tempest Maledictum created by Lively, who is also the author of another mod list for Fallout 4, Magnum Opus, which we just reviewed recently. So let's get right into it. So Tempest Maledictum is a power fantasy vibrant style list. And it's very clear about its message. It's just a fun list, just like uh, Lively's other list. It doesn't aim to be a hardcore experience or anything like that for Skyrim. It doesn't aim to necessarily stick to the lore but it aims to just provide the most amount of content that you can get in your Skyrim experience with some of the biggest and uh, most variety of DLC sized quests that you'll see in Modless. And right off the bat, you can see we can actually start as a uh, Dwemer, which you don't often see. We will look at the character customization for some of these other uh, races first. You have some additional hairstyles to choose from. For both the males and females, uh, facial hair is going to be pretty much uh, close to vanilla. The beast races have a few additional options to choose from. No massive overhaul for character customization there. No uh, skull on the head thing, but you do have some additional choices. And of course, we, j we just have to be. How could we not be um, diggy diggy hole? We just have to be a dwarf. So uh, I always choose this option. Uh, th that's part of the, uh, the Dwemer thing, I'm pretty sure. Shadow of Skyrim, we're just going to press OK. And we'll give it a few seconds here for the MCM to do its thing as everything gets configured. So this is for a version 4.1.2 for Tempest Maledictum. From what I understand, version five is coming sometime in the near future. So we will definitely have to revisit it at that time. But even in its current state, uh, Tempest Maledictum is so fun. Like I'm, typically not the uh, uh, power fantasy NI rim player, but even I'm able to have a lot of fun in this list. Uh, and I can only imagine that it would be even more fun if you are um, an ordinator NI rim fan. And we will talk about all that's included. And also this is for Skyrim Anniversary Edition version 1.6.353 it does use the stock game feature so it'll auto downgrade for you so you don't have to worry about messing with your game files or anything like that uh, but from what i understand the uh let's skip this mod the next version of tempest maledictum is going to be for the updated version of skyrim at 252 esp slash esms not a lot of room to customize this list but honestly you're not really going to need to because this list touches on everything. It has new animations, new combat mechanics, and everything like that. Which brings me to my segue. I recently sent out a poll asking what is your guys' favorite perk system. Uh, the winner was Requiem, but not far behind was Ordinator. This has Ordinator, like I mentioned. And then I also asked what are the two things you guys look for in a mod list. And you guys mostly said modern combat mechanics as well as tons of new armor quests weapons and this has both so it's not going to be an mco based list but it does have a dynamic animation replacer with a lot of little animations which we will check out as the mcm loads here also you're looking at 205 gigabytes for this list so it is a pretty medium sized list but honestly i would wager that a big chunk of that 205 gigabytes is going to be just added content like i said it's not uh necessarily a graphically focused list not to say that it isn't ugly it has a uh very vibrant style to it 
which we will see. Let's pick our start. Um, let us just start off as a guild master. An Let's do the uh, legacy the of the dragonborn start. This that is included in this list, obviously with the uh, alternate start. I think the MCM finished actually. So. Let's continue. Tons and tons of new quests in this list. So, like I mentioned, Legacy of the Dragonborn. But you also have Beyond Reach, Beyond Bruma, or Beyond Skyrim Bruma, I should say. Let's not enable survival mode. It is optional if you want to play with survival mode. And then we have Winter Sun Fates. I feel like Zenithar out of these is the closest uh, for Gwemer, even though they were kind of... They didn't really... I guess I should have picked none because Wormer didn't really worship anyone. And right off the bat, you can see the graphics are a lot brighter. And let me actually show you guys if I turn off the ENB. This, without the ENB, this is pretty much vanilla Skyrim. Not in terms of the uh, textures and how much grass there is, but in terms of the colors. So there's a huge difference. And um, you can't really see fog right now. But when the ENB is on, I've, I've noticed that it tends to remove a lot of the fog that uh, Skyrim uh, tends to add. So you're going to see a very crisp, clean, uh, very far. I'm just going to grab everything here. Especially all the weapons, so I can show you guys all the new animations that are added. Because there are a lot. Now you might notice, uh, obviously looking at this tent here, and just kind of things. Um, uh, the textures are not the highest scale. But they don't really aim to be. I mean, this is going to have a lot of city expansions and a lot of... Uh, lush forests and grass and everything without killing your PC. So it uh, tends to be more performance friendly. Pro probably one of the most performance friendly lists if you want the giant city add-ons and overhauls. Which let's uh, end up checking out. You can see yourself in the actual uh, menu here. And let's take a look at some of these animations. So you got the Warhammer. You also have the dynamic blocking animation, so if you block, it might not do it with the Warhammer, but it should with, let's say, the sword. So you see the blocking animation varies. So the animations are updated from vanilla, but they're not the uh, crazy anime looking ones that you sometimes see. The dagger animation. First person animations are going to be pretty uh, vanilla. Let's take a look first at my favorite city in this list, Riften. So as I was mentioning, tons of added content. Legacy of the Dragonborn, Beyond Reach, Beyond Skyrim Bruma, Clockwork, Dark End, Pit Fighter, which adds a new faction, Identity Crisis, Glamoral, Project AHO, Forgotten City, The Second Great War, uh, Undeath, Unslaad, The Wheels of Lull, Vigilant, Worm's Tooth. Tons of DLC size quests. I mean, look at this vibrancy, though. That's crazy. Let me let me sh turn off the ENB again. Look at that. Bland, bland, gorgeous. It, it almost looks like a, a vibrant painting, really. So what I can appreciate a lot about Tempest Maledictum is it knows exactly what it is. It doesn't lie about what it is. And you either uh, love it or hate it. But I think if you are a power fantasy fan and you want vibrant graphics, this is going to do it for you. If uh, you've gotten used to some of the other lists that aim to have a, a darker tone and and uh, 
crazy ridiculous EMBs and parallax and everything like that, it might take a little bit for your eyes to adjust. But honestly, you know, don't let these graphics fool you. They are very unique, very uh, stylistic. And obviously, quite obviously, everything was hand chosen by Lively for the uh, for the visuals. I mean, nothing feels out of place. I talk a lot about graphical fidelity, and it is definitely here. Everything fits together. Everything is consistent. So let's go inside of Riften itself and kind of check everything out. I'll open up the MCM real quick so I can show you guys some of the things that you might want to pay attention to. So you have true directional movement. The target lock key by default, I believe, is F. I changed it to M5. Uh, ultimate immersion toggle. I'm going to switch that back to X. The default is mouse three. Um, then you have the ultimate dodge mod. So your sneak key here is going to be actual sneaky, and then your sneaky in your um, game settings is going to be the uh, key that you dodge with. Swiftly order squad. Um, you have smooth cam. You have vanilla enhance two, which is a good solid preset, but uh, smooth cam presets aren't too hard to uh, add on if you want to. Uh, Lucian is a follower. I'll talk more about the followers and everything like that. But these are mostly the things. Oh, you also have dual wield pairing. So if you want to uh, change this block key, the default is V. I'm going to leave it as V. So like I was saying, with uh, modern combat elements, you have dodging. And what I like is it has kind of a, a sidestep dodge as opposed to the roll. The problem that I always have with the dodge roll is kind of doesn't make sense for a heavy armor some of the dual wielding animations also have a dual sheath as you can see and let's head on to rift and i'm gonna give myself some gold so we can uh, check some things out just some gold you know just a million before I let you into it for the privilege of entering this, it's been a pleasure doing business. And you have a lot, a lot of added armors and weapons. As you can see, the guards have, uh, are going to have unique armors based on the hold that they're in. And most of the city overhaul is done with, uh, city of the north, cities of the north. And then you also have great towns and villages for the smaller locations. With a thief skill. Be careful, my lord. The Thieves Guild has Maven Blackbriar at her. The back. NPC overhauls of her fingers, and you could end up are also, I believe, hand picked. They represent the reason mixture of a few of them. I don't know you. You could pretend not to hear me all you want, but you best I'm really getting tired. So they don't stray too far off borrow, from vanilla, back on time and for the but they definitely look updated. But how was I to know the ship? You have the expressive uh, facial animations there. And, nothing would have happened and yeah, I mean, take a look at these uh, Are you telling me you these choices you of uh, textures. Everything is definitely more vibrant. Never done an honest. I can take a hint, lad. I'm beginning to think leaving Mornhold was a mistake. You also uh, will notice things added by mods like uh, JKs and whatnot. Why are you skulking about like that? Especially for. Uh, uh, just a little added clutter and whatnot. But yeah, mostly Cities of the North. Now let's go to my second favorite. Also very nice uh, uh, crisp and clear map. Falkreath is pretty crazy as well as we'll sh see shortly. Also get a lot of player homes. So just like tons of content and everything. Armors, weapons, player homes. Quests. You have Dova Den, Elysium Estate, which is a classic. Also, one of my favorites that you don't, you hardly ever see is Castle Volkihar Rebuilt. So if you side with the Dawn Guard in the Dawn Guard quest, 
and uh, after you finish uh, taking out the vampires, Castle Volkahar, you can turn it into a player home and fix it up. It's such a good mod. Yeah, take a look at that. Let me again turn the E and B on and off. This makes such a huge difference. Let me go over to the uh, high hall. The Jarl just looking down on everyone. You also do have an immersive first person. I'll look down at my character. See? So, uh, it's definitely playable in first person. The Jarl, whoever that might be. Just chilling with uh, the bears. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Also, new creatures that you run into. You have uh, the Blood Moon Restoration Project and Diverse Dragons are the two big ones. But then you have a few of the little uh, individual ones like uh, Bogmorts. Just a few little extra creatures that you'll run into here and there. Now, let's talk about the big one, uh, Enirim. So Enirim obviously uh, is a kind of, you either like Enirim or you don't. And this is the, the full Enirim suite. Uh, it's not the uh, uh, minimalistic version, it's the ordinator version. So obviously Enirim has a lot of uh, power fantasy style stuff you're gonna get strong very quickly and there's even some nrm uh, um little exploits that you can do but you know it doesn't uh, it doesn't try to be a difficult list it just tries to be a fun list so if you want to be op go for it be op you know everyone plays skyrim differently not everyone wants to uh die 30 times in a row to mud crabs like me uh so there's nothing wrong with nirm it's all personal taste nirm fans i would assume are going to very much enjoy this list so you have ordinator perks andromeda for standing stones you have apocalypse for magic as well as uh Fenderic's magic and Forgotten Magic Redone, and Odin Magic. So a lot of choices for spells. Then you have Imperius for races. Uh, Sacrosanct Vampires, Growl for Werewolves and were bears. Then you have Winter Sun Fates, as we saw earlier. And Summer Mist for enchantments and thunder child for shouts so like i said the the full anirim suite you can be as underpowered or overpowered as you really want and it you know once again fits in with this list you're gonna have tons of hours of content um whenever you add a bunch of uh big quest mods obviously some of our um, some of them are going to have really good loot some of them they won't so really it's it's up to you to uh, go ahead and adventure you're gonna have hundreds of and hundreds of hours added onto your skyrim i really liked uh dawnstar in this list as well let's go over to dawnstar then of course you're gonna have follower mods like the the main ones hoth inigo kaden Ari and Lucian, which is a good little bundle because uh, a lot of those followers actually interact with each other. They have unique dialogue uh, between each other. So just, and look at that water. Like I said, very vibrant. Um, let's uh, once again, turn this off. So you can see default Skyrim, everything's just kind of gray. Here, blue skies, blue water shirtless people in the snow but i really like these uh the choices for like the the houses and stuff like that 
And once again, look, you know, you look at the textures and they might not be the highest resolution, but you know, neither is uh, other stuff. So it all fits together nicely and it's not gonna kill your computer. This is like one of the best lists if you want these uh, big city add-ons. And you don't want your PC to turn into a frying pan and be able to cook eggs on it. And this is going to be a nice list to explore. So, who it's for and who it isn't for. Obviously, if you want a challenging list, it's not going to be for you. If you don't like a bunch of uh, content add-ons, NPC add-ons, things like that, it's not going to be for you. If you're a lore purist, it's not going to be for you, but it is going to be for a lot of people, namely NRM fans. NRM fans, I think, are going to love this list because it is a true power fantasy in every sense of the name. Let's go to White Run. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more. It is also going to be for people who want to expand their cities and uh, like vibrant graphics and don't care about having the highest resolution for things. And people who want to experience, you know, all of the best uh, DLC size quests in one bundle, this is pretty much going to have all of them. You know, normally when I discuss when mod lists have, uh, you know, which DLC size quests they have or don't have, I'll uh, mention notable exclusions, but really this mod list covers most of the most popular ones. Let's uh, god mode it up for testing purposes. That's close. Now ain't this a surprise. <laughs> As we can see, we uh, got rid of her pretty quick. Oh, you're also going to have... Uh, I like uh, animated armory. I've mentioned this before, but it's really one of my favorite uh, mods. Anim animated armory and heavy armory and lore weapon weapons expansion are really my favorite weapon mods. So any list that adds any of those, you know, you... you you can have a lot of fun with it. You see, you actually have some first person animations for uh, animated armory. So let's go pokey poke some people. It's <laughs> nothing. It's something. Now leveling. As you can see, there is just classic Skyrim leveling. Obviously, uh, you do have, yeah, see, like, there's tons, tons of new things to, uh, to loot. Um, you all, you have quick loot. It, quick loot is disabled in combat, I believe, by default, which a lot of people like, myself included, because it prevents you from, uh, Accidentally looting. <laughs> I've gotten killed so many times in combat by accidentally looting something heavy off of an NPC. And then I'm over encumbered. Like, even the bandits are uh, updated, appearance wise. So, do we have any magic? We do indeed. Look at the. Uh, just gush of flames. You also have the little uh, third person magic effects. You also have them in first person. They look pretty cool. And the Dwemer actually have some cool little uh, class things. Oh, also, you have a class system, so you can choose uh, classes to unlock, and then eventually you'll get experience 
and be able to unlock additional classes and you get bonuses. So again, tying in with that power fantasy style. The way it is balanced a little bit is when you level up, you only get five of an attribute instead of 10 like vanilla. Let's burn some people down. Never should have come here. Oh, but I should have. Here we go. And uh, if you guys want some more uh, Tempest Maledictum gameplay, just let me know. I was actually um, streaming this a little bit. So the interiors are a little bit darker, but not too dark. So obviously, uh, Summer Mist enchantments, you're going to have some crazy uh, enchanted weapons that you get from time to time. So hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. Like I said, a lot of people are going to uh, enjoy this list. If you want to just have tons of Skyrim quests, check it out if you like uh NRM Ordinator, you want a nice power fantasy, uh, check it out. A lot of people um, think MCO animations are too much and want something a little bit more tame. So this is also a good choice for you. And if you like these uh, vibrant fantasy style graphics, definitely check this list out. So let me know if this list worked out for you in the comments below let me know how you liked it and i will catch you guys next time